So here's my legacy domain controller. And if we have a look, it's Windows Server 2012 R2. And its host name is DC2012. Very simple. If you look in Active Directory, in Domain Control, as you can see, I've only got one. This is a test network in production. You'd obviously have a lot more DCs. And if you look at the domain function level, you can see at the moment it's 12 r 2 as is the forest functional level. Now to go to server 2022, the same as 2019, your forest functional level needs to be at server 2008 or higher. So I've got a new 2022 server and as you can see it is already domain joined so I will be able to resolve domain DNS etc. And if we go to server manager, select manage, add roles and features. Now you might get a welcome screen in front of this one. I tick the box in the past to say don't show it again. So we're installing directly on this server. Click next. And the server role that you want is Active Directory Domain Services. Well, when you tick it, it'll ask you to add in some more roles and features. Let it do so. Make sure it's selected and click next. Click all the way through. Now there's a box at the top there that says restart. You don't actually need to restart to install the role you do when you promote it to a domain controller. But not to install the role, so I haven't bothered to tick that. Now I've sped that up dramatically for the sake of the video, but that's now the role installed. Now, if you look to the top of the screen, you'll see there's a little warning triangle there on notification. Select that and select promote this server to a domain controller, and the promotion wizard will start. Now, by default, it will try to add itself into the existing domain that it's a member of, which is exactly what we want it to do. Click next. Now, all DNS servers, uh, domain controllers I should say, are do, will end up being DNS servers. This will be global catalog server. And you need to add in a directory service restore mode password, should you ever wish to recover this DC from backup. Now, ignore the warning at the top there. I have written an article that explains what that's all about. I know it looks very scary and that something's wrong, but it doesn't. You can safely ignore that and click next. I'm not going to install the media, and it doesn't really matter what domain controller I replicate from. Click next. I'm going to accept all the default install locations. In production, you might want to put them on a different volume. And it's just warning me that it's going to do forest and skinner prep and domain prep as part of the promotion. I have a review and click next. Now again, I've sped this up for the sake of the video. There are some prerequisite checks that it does. Please read them. But what's most important is at the top it says all prerequisite checks pass successfully. Click install and then it will promote this server to be a domain controller. Again slightly sped up but when it is finished what it will do is it will automatically reboot the DC which is what you can see happening now. When it comes back in log on with some domain credentials Now if we have a look in to users and computers at the domain expand the domain out and select uh, to make it all as you'll see we now have two the 2012 and the 2022 to make it and if I look into domains and trusts you can see that the domain functional level is still at 2012 and there's a warning there now this is I can't grid it because obviously I've still got a 2012 to make it Now if we take a look 
at where the FISMO was are, they will all be on the old to make a trailer. Obviously in production they will be probably spread about a little bit more neatly as I thought would have gone into it, but at the moment in my test network here, uh, all those rolls are on my 2012 on my old. So I'm going to move them across. You can see I've already written an article that covers how to do that. If you want to go and have a look for that and find out what that PowerShell command is, select A to transfer them all. Now, if I hit the up arrow a couple of times and now look at where my FS and all those are, hopefully they should have all have changed. And they have. They're now on the 2022 server. So those rolls need to be removed before you've done it demote the old DC. Make sure your DNS is, is not pointing to the old DC before you demote it. Think about things like DCP scopes, think about things that may be looking at this server for LDAP or AD lookups that you may need to repoint to the new DC before you demote this. And the process is exactly the same in reverse but we untick that role and then we have the option to demote the domain control. So in old days we used to go to command line and run DC promo, it's all done from the words of now. Now I don't need to force remove it, let's try and remove it gracefully. Click next uh, and that's just a warning to say that it's going to remove the global cat and DNS rules. So tick the box to say proceed. Uh, I've got to untick this. Remember earlier, I don't want to worry about DNS delegation. Next. Now supply a password that will be the local admin password for this server when it's been demoted. Next. Review the options and select demote. Once again this has been dramatically sped up. Once again, when it's finished, it will automatically reboot the server. When it comes back up, it will just be a member server and you can log in. So back on my 2022 server, if I go to raise the functional level, you can see now I have the option to raise it from 2012 R2 to 2016. I'm not going to. quite happy to leave it at 2012 R2. It's very rare that I've seen a problem with one 2012 R2, so I'm quite happy to leave it there for the time being. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.pwd.com.